Yes, guys, what's up? It's Spetty here. Today, we have Elf and Onion Soup. It's an alchemy card. It's just five provisions, of course. We're using it in an alchemy Skelliger deck. Destroy two allied units of the same border color, then create and play a unit of the same color from your factional neutrals. Two ways you can use this. The boring way and less impressive ways you can use this on some of the crows you get from Gedineth. Maybe you get rid of those two, and then you play a bronze card. So it's going to create uh, three bronzes from Skelliger or neutrals. That's the pool. You get to pick one. But the best use is you play Ermion uh, on into Elf and Onion Soup. You get rid of your two-point Ermion and you get rid of Crow Mother. Uh, Crow Mother's obviously going to come back later on when you play another Alchemy and you get a gold. We've hit some big gold cards. There's some even better ones that you can get with Elf and Onion Soup. Really fun card. I honestly think it's pretty decent. Uh, this is the deck we built around it. Very similar to the previous Alchemy decks that I've played, obviously, with the Mushy Truffle. Um, but yeah. Here's the deck. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Like it if you do. Comment down below what you want to see next. If you're new, please subscribe. And thanks for watching. See you on the next one. I see. All right, mate. Well, goodbye. All right, man. Do you have Take anything care. to say to my chat? Um... <laughs> I yeeted him, mate. <laughs> Get out of here, mate. Oh, dear. All right, we have got Elf and Onion Soup, guys. Mod style change, please. Elf Onion Soup. This deck's pretty good, I reckon. I reckon it's actually very, very good. Um, it's not going to be very good in this matchup, though, I would imagine. Maybe it's better to ditch the Crow Mother? I don't think it makes a difference, to be fair. So, we're playing Elf and Onion Soup, SK. If any mods could just change title to Elf and Onion Soup. Okay, we're up against Spell Weavers. It's not opening up with uh, the Patience Dudes, which is always a positive, because those cards are flipping annoying to play against. Um, we could start off with a Singer. But it also does actually give them a target to damage, so... Maybe I wasn't supposed to play the burner, I don't know, man. Probably wasn't, right? I was also supposed to discard the Chrome Mother for a bit. Music is very weird. That is a big old commitment, mate. Jesus Christ, man. Vengeance is so OP, it hurts. I mean, in fairness, Elf and Onion Soup ain't looking that bad. Darren is a gold after off. They keep damaging him down. Jeez. I'm probably going to play a deck like this soon as well with Runeword, Spellweavers, and a Darren. Bloody Nora. Okay, then da damage the Darren. Oh, man. There's nine provisions, which is quite ridiculous. Probably just done here now, unfortunately. The 
very little we could do here. Pretty sure Alpha and Onion Soup is super legit though as a card. Why did they play this card? I don't get it. So we're just gonna pass while we're on five. But uh, yeah, it's not looking good, is it? The good news is they have no patience carryover. Like I don't know why they're playing the tissue. They're not gonna bother. Is uh is the observer working for anyone? Because it was it wasn't working a couple of days back. So I made some misplays. Like the coral play was definitely bad. Don't unfortunately find our mushroom truffle, which is really bad. Super, oh god. Okay. So I'm going to play the Preach here. The reason is I don't want to play the Getty for them just to be able to pass. But I should be able to play Getty now with my Sunset, right? Which means I still have the Bonded on the board. Okay. I can't Ermion into the Elfonian Soup. I hope it's not Brick. It's not. I've got a couple. This could be pretty sick. This is where we're just uh, absolutely fine here, right? Sunset Wanderer is just completely smurfing. Actually. <laughs> That's quite a lot of points in in a not very long space of time. So we have no card advantage, but we're not down for round three at least. Yeah, Observer's been bugged, Siobhan, for a little while. Um, CD Power, I did leave her aware, so hopefully it gets sorted. But it's also like a Poland national holiday this week, bro. Right? If only they knew. Or at some point this week, I'm not sure exactly. Why are they slamming golds, mate? What's going on here? Very, very clowny plays. <laughs> Alright, now we pass! If they play another card, we hear a pass. Agreed? Okay, maybe not. Alright, unfortunately the I mean I did want for round three because I could help finally soup it plus crow mother, but you can use on Fakusha, I suppose. Wait. Seven fourteen. Flipping elf onion soup, man. It's really sad. Guess I could have clicked actually. Right?
It's actually really good. Let's do that. Like, Fukushima and Termin, it's no joke, right? I guess that's another reason to play Bride of the Sea as well. So we have Mushy Truffle, we have Coral, we have Leader. Mm, a superb specimen, truly. Nice. Yeah, I mean, that is the hand, is it not? I suppose we want to find the Skirm. That is a lot of points, bro. I could have floated the. No, I couldn't float the coral because I could. Front row and that. Uh, we got him, though. Okay, on to the next game. One card left in deck is a good sign as well. We were going first, we have Mask. And we also did play... Um, Koroloff. No, we didn't play Koroloff. We played Ermi and Lurch. Obviously my opponent didn't play very well. Let's be honest. Let's go again. Wanna actually get like to some decent MMRs and stop like playing against some good players and stuff. Would be nice. Although that also means no deck variety. So we're up against Rage of the Sea. We have Morkvarg in hand. We also have Skirm. Darren is for Crow Mother. Vendor is just kinda awkward in round one. The Freya is also just awkward here. I like the singer with Darren. Creature. It's not a bad decoction, but there's better decoctions in this matchup, I think it's fair to say. Uh, On to messengers. Although messengers often come in over six, so maybe it was just a decoction. Uh, not really nervous that we can lose this round. So many points here, man. Okay. We could Gremis the Morkvog, <laughs> and then we can Elf Onion Soup the Crow Mother Morkvog. This comes back. There we go. Okay, they did double. And that's that's why this is just not even worth holding onto, really. Losing this round doesn't really feel like an option. The hell? Oh, mate, we get resilience. Easy resilience. Resilience! Boom! I'm the best player in the game. Elf and onion flipping suit, mate. Smurfing.
I don't really want to pass, bruv. Cough flipping carryover, man. Okay, now I'm more interested in the pass. Got the Volma doomed. Eat the sunset. We have carryover. Huh? Could they have just not killed our carryover guys? I just don't think they have read what this card is doing, mate. They're going to be very surprised Pikachu faced. Why is Freya looking so weird? What is that all about? Musicians of Blaviken getting us carry it. But remember guys, this is Elf Onion Soup. Elf and Onion Soup just gave us card advantage for five provisions, guys. Think about that. That is kind of busted. Is it eight point cards? Quite nervous about my uh, Twin Ventures. I can use them on the Getty, but I don't. Exactly, I'm not swimming in Druids. And then obviously I'm gonna have too many. Well, they are. Yeah, Alpha Onion Soup is only a 5p card. This feels like it was a mistake where I was just supposed to play another preacher, I think. Mate, I think Soup is good. Unironically, yeah. I think it's actually just good. Unfortunately, I don't have a decoction left. Show me the flipping Marshy Truffle Man. That is not good, mate. That is not good at all. I just have a serious row space issue as well, right, with all these uh, crows. But I guess the rain's cleaning them up. Oh, it's Mardromes. Oh, we're fine. Yeah, that's no worries then. I guess we're going for Coral. Why is this coming down so late? I don't get it, man. It's a real shame we didn't find this much truffle, man. So we had extra preacher. Sacrifices 
she brooks no insult. Bow before modern Freya. Best drown yourself with those damn names. Alright, we win. I don't know what this deck is my opponent's playing really. I guess I forgot about this dude. I forgot about this dude. This card is so dumb. What a stupid card, man. Alright, stockpile. Need to win round one here. It's my main Darren target. I can always front row the Darren route. This could be a discard target as well. I see you. That might even be amusing. Just one Suppose we also just slam the burner here. Like this last game is just it's just Blair, you know, like don't run at all punish and like you just lose to that deck. Don't run the graveyard punish and if I had either of those cards it's obviously like fine, but like you could just say, well you're playing a bad deck because he hasn't done with tool punish, but like I don't think you should have to play Tool Punish in every deck. Do you know what I mean guys? I don't think that's really very good for the game. Now obviously that deck isn't that good because everyone's playing tool punishes and whatnot, so the deck doesn't really see any play, but Yeah, we're playing Grimace. Yeah, but my opponent played so horribly, mate. Like, that was more my point. Like, I just lost because my opponent's deck was like. I don't know, whatever. My point is like my opponent was just not didn't, didn't exactly play that well, but I lost because I don't have a heat wave. Basically, right? Or a squirrel. But yeah, okay, I could have drawn a card better, but. If my opponent was actually good at the game, I would have lost by like a million points more. Whatever, it's fine. It's no big deal. But it is just. It's just one of those ones where like. The deck is kind of considered fine because it's not competitive, but like at some point it's not gonna be fine. I would imagine. I just don't really like that kind of card design where it's just answer or lose. Answer and win. So the Mardro maybe goes. Fairly sure we just want to slam jam the cards here.
Mate, these facts are so scum. So we're going to go for the Trushy Muffle, get our third Preacher, and then we can go for Ermion into Elf and Onion Soup, onto the Crow Mother, and onto Ermion. It's going to be, oof, it's going to be just, just beautiful. Hey, Gundam. I mean, the game's not that badly balanced. I just think... I don't know, man. It's hard to say for me. I've been chilling at rank 1 a lot. I just think there's too much of a disparity between like the really good cards and the really bad cards. Like, Look at this thing, for example. Like, this card is just completely overtuned. But we can actually answer it, which is nice. Like, this is where it's fine, but it's obviously an inspired zeal where that just wouldn't be an option to do, you know? Like, it doesn't seem overpowered there, but that's just because my opponent's not playing a good deck for it, really. Nah, it's not fixed sword. So we're up about a million points. We have the Elf and Onion Soup. The Darren's not doing much, if anything. Alright, here we go. The Elf and Onion Soup, baby. I'm here for it. Chat, are you ready? Are you ready? Here it comes. Loop, loop. May, if we just got this a little sooner, jeez. Man, if we found that flipping Idaran before we played uh, the Mushy Truffle and the location, it's actually just busted, mate. Damaging the card, mate. That is the lion. My home is wherever the road takes me. All right, that's us done. Twenty two point preacher, mate. Can't be going. Yeah, that is a name, isn't it? I don't think you're gonna kill these, my friend. Alright, see you in 50 points. Sudden will tan their black clad hide 
that's kind of hype. I feel like my title for today's video is stinking the gaff out, mate. Okay. White Frost. With the Coral, which is great. Coral! Oh! We still had a chance to draw a discard off Sunset Wanderers and we could thin once more with Ermion too. But it was looking dicey, that's for sure. Now we just kill us, I guess, with Coral. Now. Place for an eight on deploy in it, and it's an engine, whereas the other one is just an eight full slot. <laughs> True, we could actually play flamenco, it's honestly not the worst I'd ever, ever heard. That should do the trick. We've got the carryover plus Getty push. Maybe uh, I should have just done this Ermi and play like a turn sooner. Freya's a little dodgy here. I think the Omeon's bad. It's a lot of discard targets in it, holy moly. Maybe the Freya was fine here. That actually does look kind of interesting, Siobhan. I'm just worried, like, I don't know what is what I'm going to get copyrighted for. This is not even available in my country, mate. Bloody hell. Yeah, I should have kept the Freya, huh? Not that surprising, honestly. They can still draw into it, though. We still haven't found the Crow Mother, either, which is pretty sad. Take the coction on the Winter Queen and Slam Leader, maybe, and pass. Uh, a lot of the time, we're just going to use Fakusha on Coral. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to go Giga. And Leader, and then pass. No Crow Mother, because she's stuck in our bloody deck, mate. 
But we could also just play Morkvog from hand. And then Elf and Onion soup it. We could have continued because obviously our burner can draw us more alchemies, but seems like a nice time to pass here. Get Coral off Fukusha and then burn in next round in it. So we have card advantage. He needs to kill Eridan when he's denied the dominance. No. Yeah. So the idea of Elf and Onion Soup is you target. Um, <laughs> uh, is you target Ermion because he's too strength. Crow Mother's the best one because she comes back, right? But then you can also target Morkvog if it's not doomed. Because that comes back too. Uh, and then you can also use it on the on the two-point crows if you just go for a bronze if it's bricking, right? So we could consider ditching. Ah, this is fine. The Dwim Vendors are very dicey. The fact that I didn't find my... Uh, What's it called? Fukusha. Pretty alarming. I guess I could bin off a Dwim Venger with Darren. No. <laughs> it's gotta be worth it, man. We just gotta bloody find this uh, Kusha, man. Or we're just losing. I guess I misplayed by not mulliganing the walk for our car. I mean, the good news is my opponent is so many points behind her. We only actually have one alchemy card as well, as it stands. So, this doesn't even look, look that good, the Elf and Onion suit. For it. So a little bit alarming, but you know, we could also just find Coral or Burn off Elf and Onion suit. There we go, big moment! Nice, 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 nice. This is a pretty terrible find though. This is a four point card, mate. Mate, the Gremist is smurfing, guys. This Gremist is 11 points. Right? We wanted the Freya over the Dwin Vendra, but apart from that, it all went well. Do I love you? No. Mate. They misplayed chat. Here we go. 